from multiple delays to allegations of mistreatment and concerns about the game's quality, we explore what's behind the frustration and disappointment felt by fans. But what about the man leading the project? The lead designer on KSP2 is Nate Simpson, who previously worked on Civilization V. Simpson brings a wealth of experience in game design and a passion for space exploration to the project. He has promised that KSP2 will retain the core elements that made the original game so beloved, while adding new features and improvements that will take the game to the next level. With Simpson at the helm, fans are hopeful that KSP2 will be even better of a game than its predecessor, and will push the boundaries of what is possible in the space flight simulation genre. Is KSP2 in trouble? Watch to find out, and if you're enjoying the video, please give it a like and hit the subscribe button for more content just like this. Kerbal Space Program 2, or KSP2, is an upcoming spaceflight simulation game developed by Intercept Games and published by Private Division. It is a sequel to the critically acclaimed Kerbal Space Program, which was released in 2011. However, the launch of KSP2 has been surrounded by controversy for several reasons. Firstly, the game has faced multiple delays in its development. Originally scheduled for release in 2020, it has since been delayed several times, with the most recent delay pushing the release date into 2023. This has caused frustration among fans who have been eagerly anticipating the game's release. Secondly, there has been controversy surrounding the development team. Intercept Games, the studio developing KSP2, was founded by several former employees of Star Theory Games, the original studio that was working on the game before it was acquired by Private Division. The former Star Theory employees claim that they were fired by Private Division without warning, and that Private Division then attempted to hire the entire team back, but at a lower salary. This has led to accusations of mistreatment and unfair labor practices. Thirdly, there's been concern among fans that the game will not live up to the expectations set by the original Kerbal Space Program. Some fans worry that the game may be oversimplified or too focused on appealing to a broader audience, rather than catering to the hardcore fans who made the original game such a success in the first place. Overall, the controversy around the launch of Kerbal Space Program 2 revolves around concerns about delays, labor practices, and the quality of the game itself. I am beyond eager to see the game released, and I hope that it will live up to the high standards set by the original KSP. So what's your bold prediction? Let me know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.